She is a certified doctor in human sexuality. You might know her from Dr. Drew's Love Line or her own podcast, Sex with Emily, right to the point. Welcome, Emily Morse, to Daily Blast Live. Thank you for being here. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Emily, you will find out very quickly we keep it 100% real here at DBL. And, you know, life is weird for everybody right now. No matter how weird it gets, people still don't want to talk about what's going on in the bedroom. So should people still make intimacy a priority? Absolutely. Now more than ever, we have to prioritize intimacy. And remember, intimacy isn't just how we, we think it to be. Like, it's just about one act. It's actually about connection. You know, we always say that relationships are, are work, but if we don't have that, then we're really just roommates. And that's when resentment start to build and problems occur. Okay, a lot of couples have been stuck inside together. Oh God, this is me wearing nothing but sweatpants. Which you are currently wearing. Currently wearing. Oh my oh goodness. <laughs> But feeling sexy can be a challenge, Doc. How, do you have any ideas to spice it up? And maybe one of them is to take off the sweatpants. Listen, one of my first things is we have to set the atmosphere. If we are in our homes, which we are right now, and there's piles of laundry in the bedroom, there's scraps of paper, there's the kids stuff, there's technology, there is no way that we are going to be in the mood for getting it on. Think, think about the five senses. How do we make our environment friendly to that? So maybe you light a candle, you put on some really you know nice sheets, you play your favorite playlist. You think about all the things mm. that are going to anchor you in a moment of thinking about intimate time rather than, oh God, I didn't put the laundry away. Another thing is you really got to get creative right now. A lot of us had vacations that were canceled and that is a bummer. But I'm here to say that we can recreate vacation sex at home. Whoa. Getting fancy sheets and putting some cocktails on a, on a tray and bringing it into your room, mm. creating a fake menu, role playing, you know, someone's bringing in the food or someone's the wait staff. I mean, there are ways to get fun and with it if you get out of your own way. they need to keep their jobs. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard world out there now. They need that job. But for other people, talking about this <laughs> is awkward. So how do you talk to people that they're like, look, I understand what you're saying, Doc, but this is weird for me. You have to prioritize intimacy. And I know that it, in my first tip is scheduling sex. Now, yes. I know a lot of people are shuddering, saying that is the least sexy thing on the planet, Dr. Emily. I don't want to look at my to-do list and see, like, pick up the dry cleaning, pay my taxes, be intimate with my partner. Because that just, <laughs> we're like, that is that is not what we want. However, what's happening is since there's our days are blending into one, we don't remember when it's dinner or lunch or Tuesday or Friday, when we know that it's on the calendar, we're like, okay, Saturday night, 8 o'clock, you know that Saturday night, it's happening. It's non-negotiable. We can think of like, what can I do to set the atmosphere so it's actually going to be something that I'm looking forward to? And that's why I love the idea of just getting creative. Tuesdays and Fridays sound good. That's right. right. Yeah. Tuesdays and Fridays, baby. Yeah, <laughs> now, yeah. and also um, doing things like, okay, well, we don't have time. I hear this, all, well, our kids are around. How are we gonna do it? Set the alarm 20 minutes earlier in the morning. Mm. You know, take a shower together, also vacation sex, things that you wouldn't normally do, but so you can have that time. And if people want more of your advice, tell us where they can find you. They can find me at sexwithemily.com. My podcast is Sex With Emily at all platforms, and I do a daily live advice show on Sirius XM Radio, Stars 109 in the evening. Amazing tips, and I like the idea of trying to do a little role-playing vacation sex. It's, it's a big deal. I like that. It's I'm a like, big deal. You, sir, do you, you come here often? You know, <laughs> exactly. I, like I love it. You'd be amazed that so many people shudder at that. They're like, well, I'm just going to laugh. But once you get over the laugh, because, you know, it can be awkward, you realize that you can actually suspend belief mm. and actually kind of fall into the roles a lot easier than you think. And then all of a sudden, your partner is a waiter and not your husband that wasn't picking up the laundry. <laughs> I love it. Oh. Thank you so much, Dr. We need you in studio as soon as all this <laughs> madness is over. Very I true. would love it. Good. We'll be Thanks right for back. having me. Thank you. Thanks.